beautiful lamb chops here at Tehran Market, having some of the best Persian street food in LA. Dude, Jeff, that alone is worth the visit here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am out here in Santa Monica today on Wilshire Boulevard because I'm gonna be checking out another rockin' spot. Have you guys heard of Persian street food in LA? It's very hard to find. That's why this particular spot that I'm going to is truly unique. In this market called the Tehran Market, which has been here for many decades, what you're gonna find in the parking lot on the weekends is them grilling up all this delicious meats, kebabs, chicken, beef, all that great stuff. So if you guys wanna see what Persian, Iranian street food looks like here in LA, you've come to the right episode. So stick all the way to the end so that I can show you this amazing barbecue feast that's going on here on the weekends in LA. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I put out these food and travel videos weekly you don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now, and I'm gonna go in and have an adventure. So like I said, the street food spot is in the parking lot of this market that's been here since 1987. Long time, and they got all your Persian goods here. Everything from condiments to teas to fruits and meats and rice and all that good stuff. So yeah, you definitely should come here and shop for your Persian goods before or after the meal. This is definitely the biggest Persian market I've seen, at least so far here in Los Angeles. I didn't even know this was here. This is crazy. This is the menu of the street food stand outside. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to order inside the market first and then they'll give you a ticket and then you'll take it to the back parking lot where they will make it for you. Yeah, so pay in here first at the market before you go out. So the food spot is in the back in the parking lot and Jeff, Jeffrey Mary here, you're here. Rockstar. <laughs> Man, you're everywhere, Jeff. So here it is behind me. This is the Persian street food spot that's in the parking lot of Tehran Market. Runs on the weekends from 11.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. They have everything here from steaks, chicken, lamb chops, and I heard that on weekends they can sell anywhere from 700 to 1,000 skewers. A lot of times they sell out before 4 p.m. So that is why if you come, you gotta get here when they open. You see salmon, and some chicken breast and chicken thigh. Oh, I think this is the chicken thigh right here. But for sure, this is the lamb chops. Oh yeah, and you got some, I think that one is steak. Yeah, beef steak. And okay, this is the kubede, very popular. Best seller here, look at how many they got. Whoa, that's crazy, that's a lot stacked up there. And every meal comes with veggies as well, zucchini, mushroom, tomatoes, definitely brightens up your whole meat experience. So much food laid out, like all these vegetables over here along with the pickles. I mean, it's ready, it's good to go because once the customers order, they gotta go really fast considering that there are uh, hundreds of people that come through here every weekend. So yes, it is uh, fast paced going on for four to five hours. I am so pumped to try this amazing street food. You see that they're grilling everything from the vegetables all the way to the meats, yes. The kubede, uh-oh, lamb chops going on here. And got some chicken breast, chicken leg, Cornish hen. Yeah, if you're a chicken fan, they got you covered here. Oh, baby. Oh, man, it just keeps on coming. It's crazy, see that salmon as well. Wow, this is incredible. Look at that flipping action, woo! Oh, yeah, master chef. Okay, so we got chicken, and then we got ground the beef, ground beef, lamb chops. I got a big piece of bread. I think this is called the lavash. <laughs> yeah, it's their flatbread. <laughs> oh man, look at all this feast here. So Jeff, you come here so often, you know what's here, right? Yeah, more or less. All right, what do we got here? Well, this is obviously a plate of beautiful vegetables. Aha. Uh -huh. Those mushrooms. Mm. Oh, you're already getting started. Okay. This and, is a classic called the Tajik. This is like a legend from Persian cuisine. It's like rice, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. I think it's stuffed with chicken. 
Then we got things like the amazing kebab. People come for that. The salmon. Um, this is, I think, lamb, lamb chops, more kebab. Uh, we got the chicken and the quail. Yep. So we're in business there. Oh, yeah, and we got some rice. A little bit of Persian rice. But then they got the weird stuff coming next, so <laughs> okay. hang tight. All right. So, yes, this is Jeffrey Merrihew. Once again, he's a faithful customer at Tehran Market. He's also a really big foodie on Instagram, Extreme Foodies, right? Hello. Oh, yeah. So, if you guys want to check him out, some of the most rocking pictures you'll see all around the world. Here in the U.S. recently was in Spain with Mark Weins and all that jazz, right? All the happening, all happening. Okay. It's hard to know where to start, but man, look at these lamb chops. Are you kidding me? Wow, these are like perfectly grilled lamb chops. Yeah. You want to start with that one? Yeah. All right. Ready? Mm. Oh, are you kidding me? Mm. There's nothing better than a perfectly cooked lamb chop. So juicy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. This is the juiciest. It's also very tender. Mm. You see how smoky it is too? Oh. Everyone knows the best part of a lamb chop, right? Fighting all this stuff off the bone. Ooh, man, Ooh. you're an you're an animal, Jeff. Mm. <laughs> so crunchy. Oh yeah. Mmm. So before we move on to the next meat, uh, I did notice that there's this huge rice platter that's next to you. Wow, this is insane. That rice looks very nice. It does. <laughs> Why don't you take the green side right. and I take the orange side? All right. Oh, loaded with flavor. Mm. You want to switch? I'm going to go orange. Okay. You swing both ways? Oh yeah. Iran makes some of the best rice dishes. Yeah. And then we have that masterpiece sitting over there, hiding. Do you feel like eating that right now? Mm -hmm. All right, you see guys, it looks like, Jeff, it looks like a slice of cake right here. A <laughs> birthday cake. Birthday cake. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't mind the flies, guys, look, you know. Got almonds, got pistachios and stuff with chicken. And look at this. Crispy rice. Wow. Mm. Oh yeah. Like a rice pie in some ways? Yeah. It is a rice pie. Yeah. You stick, stick a candle in it, you got a birthday cake. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, all the nuts make it nutty and crunchy. And I like there's chicken in here, like protein. Yeah. This yeah. is like a complete meal. That's a complete meal. It is. What are you feeling like, Jeff? I guess we go for the, this is the signature kebab. Oh, look at that. Ah. Mm. Mm. I think this mm. is really as juicy as mm. as kubede can get. Mm. Have you ever had kubede that was like dry and old? Oh, no good, no good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, this, That's very special. You see, I already took two bites of this. Look at how long it still is. It's like a piano keyboard. <laughs> oh man. Then they got some, what I heard, some world-class fresh salmon here. Look at the char in the bottom of that. Why do I always get the bigger pieces? That's all right. Is it me or does it just melt in your mouth? It melts. Like salmon ice cream. Salmon, <laughs> salmon flavored ice cream. Mm. Yeah. And by the way, he has this awesome restaurant in Santa Monica. This is kind of down the street. We forgot about the salad the whole time. What salad? <laughs> ah, yeah, that's true. I forgot about the salad too. I totally forgot about the salad. <laughs> Going straight for the lamb chops again. <laughs> But kind of pretty, right? The tabbouleh and some sort of cucumber salad. Mm. I think mm. it's refreshing. Mm -hmm. Like if you had a bite in between lamb chops, yeah. it wouldn't kill you. Okay. Yep, it has Jeff's approval. <laughs> Anyways, they do have a lot of these uh, pickles, broccoli. Um, it's kind of like eating kimchi in some ways. Yeah, that's right. Fermented? Persian kimchi. <laughs> Persian kimchi, that's right. Mmm. It's sour. Nice contrast. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. Here's the beef, the steak. Yeah, just kind of like straight up, huh? Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know what, what else to say. It's, uh, it's just a good steak. It's kind of like it is what it is. It is what it is. Wow, Jeff, it looks like we got the hardcore stuff. What is in here? Yeah, this is like the, uh, kidneys mm-hmm and we got uh, liver liver and maybe that's the heart 
needed a kidney transplant. We now know where to go. <laughs> okay. You ready? Yes. Oh man. Let's do it. Kidney. Oh. So tender. I thought it was gonna be chewier. It kind of does taste like a mushroom, but like a meat mushroom a meat kind of. Mushroom. That's genius. I thought that was gonna be more mm. alienating. It's not. Mm. What do you think? Like I said, it's it has like a very. Um, it's very tender. It's almost like eating into a mushroom, basically. Yeah. All right, so Jeff, I heard that their Cornish hen is also another one of their specialties, Specialty, right? Specialty, right. You got the perfect piece. Look at it, guys. Guys, look at that. Oh. Mm. Juice just exploded in my face. You okay? Did drink this with a straw. Cornish hen uh, is something that I don't really... I haven't had too much of, but uh, I like it when they do it very right, when it's very... You don't see it, really. No. Because, you know, people just order this. Yeah, chicken. Chicken. It's kind of boring to you. Mm. <laughs> okay. Ah, but we got to give it a fair shot anyways. Let's see what's the verdict. Mm. Uh oh, that was a positive noise. It's just as tender as this one. Mm. They have the flavor? I have no complaints about it whatsoever. What else? We try a heart. Heart. You try the heart? I haven't. Mm. I don't think I've had a heart like this one before. Chewy. This isn't a chicken heart, is it? I don't think so. It's a beef heart. Beef heart. Yeah. Okay. I want to say in some ways it's kind of like a steak, but it's just a little bit more... It's chewier. Chewier, yeah. But let me show you, it's not gross. They would never serve it if it's gross. Well, they might. Yeah. <laughs> you just have to get used to it. It's an acquired taste, I would say. All right. Oh, Jeff, what are you doing there? A little specialty item. Being such a chef. Yeah. Can't help myself, really. Mm-hmm. I'll pop that out. Put a little of this on the bottom. Mm-hmm. A little bit of that. Rice for Fine. both. A carbon color. Some chili sauce. A little chili. And Rockstar. I want you to eat this. This is for me? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. You did a good job. Oh man, look at that. This is crazy. The damage done. Damage done, look at that. Jeff is no joke. I'm no joke too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely lamb chops are good. Kubide is good. Chicken is good. But everything here is just really good. So when you come to uh, Santa Monica and you're looking for some really awesome Persian food, street style, they got it here, one of a kind, at this market in the back on the weekend. So yeah, come here. Just order what we got, have a feast just like we did. They're gonna have a rockin' time, right, Jeff? And the owners are really nice. Mm-hmm, <laughs> really nice owners as well. And yes, like I said, Market, they sell ice cream and a whole bunch of your favorite Persian produce. <laughs> so anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode of Rockstar Eater. If you enjoy what I'm doing here on the show, give me a thumbs up and also comment on the section below if you've been to this market before. I'd like to hear your story. What is your favorite meat here? And also, like I said, follow Jeff at Extreme Foodies for some rockin' food adventures, as well as Rockstar Eater for more of these episodes in the next few weeks. But I hope you have a rockin' day today, folks. I'm stuffed, I gotta go home, we gotta go to sleep. <laughs> we gotta relax, nap time. See you in the next video. Woo.